is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Sure, Charlie Brown, I can tell you what Christmas is all about. Vlogmas day two. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Before we jump into the vlog though, I want to give a big shout out to Dossier for working with me for this video. Y'all know I feel like if you're not new here, then you know. If you know, you know. I already know I've been rocking with Dossier for like years at this point. Um, so yeah, they sent me over two fragrances. I got to pick out which ones I wanted. Um, if you're not familiar with Dossier, they make scents inspired by higher end designer niche fragrances but for an affordable price so yeah like i said they sent me with two cents i got to pick which ones i wanted so i picked out floral marshmallow for myself and then i got citrus ginger for isaiah let me give you a little close-up of the packaging if you're not familiar with them so let me just show you i got this about maybe just a little just under two weeks uh i want to say i don't think it's been a full two weeks and let me just show you my dent okay first of all let me show you the packaging real quick but wait just just wait so you can't even really tell like this but when i turn it upside down you can see sis look at the dent in this already and like i said i haven't even had this for two weeks but i've been using it every single day like i am obsessed with this scent so this scent is inspired by killian um love don't be shy which you know people were saying was rihanna's signature scent a couple years ago you don't really know if it's true or not but people kind of just took that and ran with it so let me give you some of the notes real quick so in here in floor marshmallow there's marshmallow neroli bergamot there's orange blossom which i freaking love honeysuckle jasmine orris and then amber vanilla and musk this smells so much stronger than like the actual fragrance like it smells so much more potent so much i wouldn't even say a little bit sweeter than killian's um love don't be shy when i tell you this lasts all day on my skin and i think this is around i want to say this was no more than 40 dollars. i even want to say they probably have a sale going on right now um if not if there's not a sale they definitely have uh, coupon codes they have like a welcome code i have a code for them and you can save money so yeah i want to say you can either get this for around 40 or less like that's crazy because killian's love don't be shy costs i want to say 219 i think i think i know that because i was trying to get it i was about to get it during the sephora sale but i just was like you know let me not overdo it and do too much and get it and i'm so glad i didn't get it because one i like this so much better because like i said it's sweeter and it smells don't get me wrong it smells just like it but i feel like this you can really really smell like the the marshmallow more than you can with love don't be shy and i think this is stronger and like i said it lasts so long so girl 10 out of 10 you can read the reviews on dossier like it's fire like it's freaking fire and then i got citrus ginger for isaiah because he's now into colognes and you know wifey things i was just like i can't get me one and i get him one when i have like a whole collection already um so like, let me just get him one and see if he likes it so this is citrus ginger this is inspired by chanel blue and it's peppermint lemon ginger i better rear pink pepper nutmeg sandalwood incense and cedarwood this smells so good like it smells like so it just smells like I, i'm it smells so sexy on him like i freaking love it on him he smells like he put this on after he got out of the shower when i first got it and he just smelled so so good i'm really bad with like colognes and stuff like that like i'm i'm bad at describing what they smell like but it smells a little woodsy it smells fresh it smells like soap it smells clean it's fire so also i wanted to get this just to show you guys that they're not just for women they have male fragrances as well and then they also have unisex fragrances so they have something for everybody definitely go check them out definitely use my code if you use my code thank you so much if not it's cool but make sure you use one of their welcome codes 
or their coupon code so you can save some coins. And yeah, with that being said, thank you so much Dossier and let's get into the vlog. So we are about to film for Revolve. Let me grab this stuff real quick. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven items from Revolve because I'm working with them now. So I have to do a try on for TikTok and we're about to film that right now it is uh i'm gonna try to post it today because i have to get it up for this month um so then i can order my next set of clothes for next month but yeah i'm trying to figure out how i want to film this for tiktok like do i want to stack everything show each piece one by one and then do the try on or do i just want to just like jump into the try on like i really don't know um so yeah i think i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna film that part first and then i'm gonna show y'all everything that's that i got so yeah let me go through that real quick and i'm gonna be right back i feel like without lashes i look like a freaking baby but anyway i just filmed that real quick i don't even know why i got off camera because it literally took me like less than a minute to film that but i got wait what size are these medium yeah, I was like, these look a little small, but I got these little satin shorts. I'm going to try to have everything linked down below in case you're interested. It's not sponsored for YouTube. It's for TikTok, but yeah. So I got these little satin shorts, and I think that people wear these out. Like, I think the model was, like, not dressed for bed, but dressed for, like, going out. But I'm not wearing it out. Obviously, it's cold, so where am I going in shorts? But also... I only got them so much with them as pajamas. So I figured these would be super, super cute to wear in the house during like holiday season, like right now, holiday season and stuff like that. So I got the matching top. The top has like the feathers on the sleeves. It's so cute. I got this in a size small. So the shorts are medium and the, um, the top is a small. So I'm going to try it on when I you know start getting dressed for the video i got these jeans but i kind of wish i didn't i wanted a different pair but they were sold out so i kind of had to settle for this because i'm gonna show you i wanted it i wanted to wear these or just a pair of jeans with um two of the tops that i got and holy shit these look huge um and the ones that i wanted were sold out so i just got these they looked like a different wash of denim when i like online they looked a little bit lighter than this but they do have like the cargo type pockets and stuff like that y'all know i love these um style of jeans right now and then it just has like a seam going down the legs i thought it was really cute but i just wish the wash was a little bit um lighter like i'm not really a fan of this shade of denim but we'll see we'll have to see if they fit i'm gonna have to try to make them work if they don't fit I got this little silver corset, which now that I think about it, I forgot that I got this. And depending on how this looks, I might <laughs> wear this on a special day this month. If you know, you know. Um, I gotta see how it looks and how it looks with the pants that I got. Cause I might just have my complete outfit right now. Just completely forgot. Um, Y'all know later on in the month what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is cute. I'm not really a fan. I don't know. I might be speaking too soon. I might, I'm not a fan of like the the V type situation. I just wish it was like kind of straight across. But I don't know. We'll see. I got this in a size. Let's see. A size medium. I got the jeans in a size 30. Uh we have to see about that. Then I got this. I'm really liking hot pink, y'all. Like, I'm really, really, or just pink. And pink is my favorite color, but not to wear. But I don't know. I've just been, like, really, really feeling hot pink on, like, on the body. Like, I feel like it's so cute. So, we'll see. I got this sweater. This is a size, what size is this? Small? Yeah, a size small. It's like a turtleneck. 
and then it's cropped and then the sleeves are kind of like ballooned so i got these oh i got this to wear with the jeans and also the um silver corset to wear with the jeans because like when i'm working with a clothing brand i like to get stuff that will go together like i did not want to get a pair of like pants to wear with the two tops and just wear some other pants in the video that's not from the brand you know what i mean i like it to be like cohesive and just like all about the brand so yeah i got this this y'all looks kind of like um the viral airy uh waffle knit set that's going viral right now which i want to go see in person they have it at my mall so i want to go see um if i like it but this is in a size small this is oversized it's very heavy very like thick quality material so this is like this is cute the colors outside of my comfort zone like it is neutral but it's kind of giving me like baby poop <laughs> like you know what i mean like that that mustardy type of brown situation quality and everything. It probably looks really cute on the too, so we'll see. And then I just got the matching pants. And that's it. Oh, the pants are really cute. It's like heavy. It's like good material. And then these are size medium. So yeah, let me put this stuff on. Um, I think I'm going to film over here in this corner. And I don't want it to be like I'm just standing here and I have this stuff on. I want it to be like up close like detailed shots of like the materials and stuff like that um so yeah i'm gonna have to try to see i might have to try to figure it out but let me put on the first thing and then i'll come back on here okay so i decided that i want to film in my bathroom just because you see like the lighting is like more white in here it's brighter in here oh my god my My skin on my, like, not even my face, but just, like, my body is just, like, it gets so red so easy. Like, it's so sensitive. But what I was saying was, um, I'm going to film in here. Hold on, let me, I'm expecting a package, so I had that up. Uh, what was I about to say? <laughs> oh, I'm going to film in here because the lighting is just a lot better. So I have my tripod ready. Oh, my God, the heat just came on, so I'm sorry if it's loud. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna film in here. Probably gonna just use my my regular desk tripod. I'm gonna turn the camera this way, and oops, I'm gonna be able to see what I'm doing because I have the mirror. So when the camera is up, where's the camera? Where's the camera? It's hard doing this backwards. Only on camera. Um, there we go. That I'll be able to see. Um, so like I'm gonna tie it in the video. So you can like kind of see that it has drawstrings. It fits really nice. Um, I'm trying to get it so like it's like you can still see my shape. I'm not like getting washed out. I think I could have used, um, I saw the tag on. I could have used maybe, no, I like the pants back on. The pants, the pants fit me perfectly. It's just this, like the crotch area. Like, girl, my girl is not this low. So I keep hiking them up but then it's like all the way up here like past high waisted so but they're really cute they are definitely giving the airy um set and i had to show a little bit of skin can't have it all the way zipped up because it's just like i'm already fully covered i gotta you know i gotta show skin somewhere so i went and put my bra on and i'm just gonna have it open a little bit not too much not too much and then the sleeves so I rolled the sleeves up. I don't really like how this looks, but I like it better than this because, like, the sleeves are just, like, they're kind of awkward. Like, you see how it's, like, big, but then it's not fitted. Like, yeah. So, I'm going to just roll them up. And yeah, but I love the gold detailing, so I just put on my gold watch from JBW to kind of just, like, give it something in the video. And yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to set y'all up. You want to watch me work. And we want to see what the outcome of this video is. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's super cute. Pockets and everything. Just to like run some errands in and be comfortable but look put together. This is how it looks untucked. Like it's super long. 
but it's still actually really cute like this too low key but no i gotta show i gotta show my hips or something <laughs> i gotta show something some type of body something so yeah let me fix this and then um get to it but yeah you see what i'm saying like it's just scrunching right here are way too big like I would have to take these to my lady to get them tailored but yeah they're super cute from the front you can't really tell so I'm just gonna try to like do what I can do for the video but this is cute this is not even y'all know this is not even me but I don't know I'm feeling it the sweater fits perfectly I like how cropped it is it's not too cropped it's not doing too much and I don't feel like I'm freaking suffocating with the turtleneck. So, let's see. This is the corset. This is so cute. Like, hold on, let me see how I can set y'all. It's so cute. So, they will fit so well. If the jeans, if I get them taken in, they'll really like snatch me up. Um, the crotch isn't too bad. And I actually don't mind the wash of the jeans now that I have them on. But anyway, the corset is so cute. Like, I'm so happy that I had this. And I ended up just tucking it in because I didn't like, like I said, I didn't like the whole V shape. So yeah, this is super, super, I'm like trying to hold the jeans in y'all. Super, super cute. And this is in a size medium. Um, I'm so happy because I was like, I don't know if I should get a small or if I should get a medium. I just figure a size up when it comes to like corsets because I feel like they already run small because it was like suck you in anyway. And I just rather it had it just been bigger than I couldn't even get it on. So yeah, this is super cute. I'm gonna try this on because like I said, I might be wearing this later on in the month. Now that I have it on and I really like it, this might be a little, a moment for the vibe that I'm trying to go for. So yeah. Here's the last set. This one is my favorite. This is so cute, like for in the house. I feel like it's girly, it's flirty with the sleeves. It's like if you, you know, if you don't button it all the way up, it's a little sexy. And then since it's like short, you're still showing a little bit of skin. This one is so cute. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have everything linked down below if I can find it for if you're interested. Oh my god, I just, uh, me, a hand talker, loves this. So, so pretty. And the color is so pretty. If they had other colors, I would have gotten them because, one, I'm trying to set my PJ game up. Two, I knew I was going to like this and I don't like it. I love it. It's so cute. So yeah, I'm going to wash this. Well, I got to see how to wash this. But I want to wear it from like my little one of these nights because it's definitely definitely giving so yeah i'm about to change back into my robe i'm about to make some breakfast oh my god make some breakfast for us and this is so cute so i definitely don't see how this would be a outfit for going out like i just feel like it's way too thin like even for like spring or summer it's just it's giving pjs like what are we doing here you know what i mean but yeah Anyway, let me go change and let's get to cooking because it's already 11, 12. Um, I got to edit this video and then start working on my wallpaper for December. My little wallpaper series that I got going on on TikTok. Because um, I want to have that video up hmm, probably December 1st. So yeah, let me go do that and then I'll be back on here. We had, oh my God, I feel like I was about to flash y'all. Anyway, it's a lot later, but we got packages, so let's do a little unboxing and see what we got. So, let me make sure I'm not exposing myself. So, we're going to start with this one, because it's funny, because I was just talking about this with my cousin. He was asking me what size do I get my hoodies in. 
So, you already know. If y'all know me, y'all already know. You can't even see it. Essentials, of course. I ordered these to wear on Thanksgiving, but they just got here today. So, yeah, that sucks. But I ordered the flare ones, the flare sweatpants. Um, I wanted to wear these with just like a white. Oh, I love these with a white bodysuit. So it says it right here in all black and it's like that felt material. I love that it's monochromatic. Like you can't even really see that it says it on here. Like I love that. So these are the relaxed fit. So, oh my God, did I get makeup on it? So they are not like scrunched at the bottom, which I don't have any of these yet. So we're gonna see. I got these in a size extra small. Y'all know if y'all saw my, I don't know if that was my last vlog. I can't even remember. I had showed y'all that I had got this hand set and I had got a medium in the pants. I still have not taken them to my lady, which I need to do. Yeah, that's what these look like. And I'm gonna try these on tomorrow. I don't wanna try them on today. Does anyone else not like, try well, I know a lot of people wash their clothes before they wear them, but does anyone else not like trying on their clothes when they don't feel like super clean? Like, I feel like my, um, I feel like I'm like dirty because it's like 6.30. Like, I feel like I was sweating and stuff like that. Like, I don't want to try these on when my body's not clean. You get what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain it. If you get me, you get me. And they have pockets and everything. They're the same sweatpants. They're just not scrunched. So if I like how these fit on me, I'm gonna go ahead and of course, order some gray ones. I'm gonna order maybe another color. Y'all know I love these sweatpants. I live in those sweatpants. I live in the hoodies. So two more packages and I'm gonna show y'all. Technically three, but one of them y'all are really gonna love. Um, the other one I wanna show y'all, but I'll probably show y'all tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog because yeah, when you see it, you understand why I didn't include it in this vlog. Like, yeah, so yeah. Anyway, let me open this package. And this one I am super excited about. Oh my God, I can't even get it open. Anyway, I ordered some socks off of Skims because Skims was having like a sale, not their bi annual sale. Like they are having that. I think it's still going on right now, but it's literally nothing that anyone wants. Like I feel like they only put stuff on sale that like they know isn't selling, which I don't know. I don't really, I'm not a fan of that. Cause it's just kind of like, why can't, I mean, why can't you put like the body suits, the t-shirts, the shorts, the tank tops. Why can't you put stuff on sale that people like actually buy? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. That kind of gives me like a weird vibe. But anyway, I got their socks. Their socks were on sale before the buy game was sale. And I was just like, cool. I've been wanting socks. I've been looking for socks. And... I haven't been able to like see, like find any that I really like. So when I saw Skims was having a sale on theirs, I was like, period. But the only thing is I can't really show you this because I wanted to do like a unboxing for TikTok. So yeah, I'm gonna show you one. I'm gonna open one and show you. But I got their like really thick, Oh, I can even take this out the package and show y'all. Yeah, that's super easy. So the packaging just comes like, <laughs> like this. I should have showed y'all first. And it says Skims right there. But the reason why I got these thick ones, I got these because I wanted to wear these with my Uggs. So you just put them on. And I'm going to try these on probably tomorrow with my Uggs too. Like I'll show them when I film the whole video for this. But like I want to wear mine like kind of scrunched down with my Uggs. And they're super thick. I hope they're warm. I won't know until like I step outside. Um, they should be though. They're really, really thick though. Nice material. So these were five for 25. So baby, I snatched them up because that's a deal. For these thick, long winter socks from Skims. Yeah, that was a deal. I couldn't pass that up. So I got the most smoke shade. I got two of the bone, which is just like their um creamy like white shade but it's not white it's like more of a yellowy white i got black of course and then i got heather gray these are gonna be my favorite but i got two of the like the bone shade because 
one they'll look the best with my uggs because my uggs are literally like you know if you have chestnut uggs the fur inside is literally the same shade as this i feel like so i feel like this would be like really cute with my uggs i got these other colors because one i feel like you can't have enough black socks two because y'all know i love heather gray and three because i have uh sweatpants not sweatpants i have tights this color i have shorts this color and i have a long sleeve this color so i figured i could do like a whole like outfit with like the tights the socks and the long sleeves and then put my uggs on i thought that would be like really cute like a little cute like a little cute little chill outfit so yeah let's get into the big package because y'all are gonna freaking love oh my god heavy love this oh my god it just freaking poked me in my boob i got <laughs> i got i can't even hold it up i got the beast blender i got the hydrating system oh my god i'm so excited to have this i know y'all seen this a lot of people have this um and i've been wanting this for so long i just right i would forget about it and then i would see somebody with it and be like oh my god yeah i wanted that but I don't really know why I never grabbed it. But whatever the reason why, I'm so glad I didn't because I was able to get it. Child, I want to say damn near free because I think this system, this, what is it, the hydration system, this cost, I think, 186 or something like that. 190 something like that. 180 I want to say like at least 180 Girl... I went, I just typed it into Google um, on, I, I want to say like the Wednesday before Thanksgiving or the Tuesday, I want to say the Tuesday before Thanksgiving and it was on sale on their website for $156 and I was like, okay, like I, I'm going to buy it now, like that's fire. So anyway, I think it was like everything going on for Thanksgiving, well, Thanksgiving and stuff like that. I kind of got distracted and never ended up buying it. And I um, just like, again, like just kind of forgot about it for those couple of days. So anyway, on Black Friday, was it Black Friday? Yeah. On Black Friday, I typed it into Google once again. Cause I just wanted to see if it was on Amazon, like if it was on sale on Amazon, but I didn't go on to Amazon to just type into Google. Cause when you do that, I'll obviously show you all the places you can get it from. Um, so I did that and then it came up on Bed Bath & Beyond and I was like, oh my God, girl, tell me why it came up to like 110, I think on Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, was it like 110? I think it was like 110 and maybe like 115 with shipping. And to be honest, they had it at um Cherry Hill. I could have ordered it and picked it up in store that same day. Um, in Cherry Hill, but I just didn't feel like driving. Um, so I was like, whatever, I'll just have it shipped. Actually, no, it was free shipping, so it was like either I can drive and get it, um, and pay for toll and stuff, or save five dollars from toll and have free shipping and just wait and just wait a couple of days so that's what i did i had it shipped out and i think the total was either 110 or 115 girl it it came up on their website also still 156 and i was like wow so i bought it off of Beth and beyond and i'm so excited so here's the box um i got the white one i think it's called cloud white Y'all know, if y'all follow me on TikTok, y'all know that I always, not always, but, uh, well, I'm, I would say always. Um, I always try to include, like, a drink on my, on my feed, like, whether it's incorporated into a vlog or if it's incorporated into my drink series that I have. Um, so, y'all know that I, I'm always using my blender, like, period. I'm always using my Ninja. I'm always using my Vitamix. And initially when I told Isaiah I got this, he was like, babe, another blender. And I was like, boy, let's not play that game because if you want to go down that road, I could chow. So yeah, I was like, and this is fire. I was like, when you see it, you'll understand why I had to get it, especially for that price. Dang, like it's aesthetically pleasing, but it's also very functional. It's so, it's so nice. So here it is. Oh my God, my box is about to fall. 
and it comes with like all these different compartments not compartments but like um i don't even know how to explain it all these different bottles and like adjustments and whatever so since i got the hydration system it comes with like a water bottle that you can like put fruit into and you can wait how do i get this out you can if what you can um infuse your fruit in here like you just open this up but i gotta figure out how and i believe you can put yeah you can put fruit in here like lemon lime strawberry whatever type of fruit you like to put in your water and then you just plug it up and you put it into your water bottle this is hard plastic I would say this is hard plastic, but it it sounds like glass, but I want to say that it's just plastic. It literally sounds like glass. Like, I don't even know. It's nice and heavy. I don't know. There is a pamphlet that tells you, like, the size and stuff like that. I don't know how many ounces this is, but this is a nice size, and you can take it to go and open it up, and then it has, like, you know, the little spout. This is so... Y'all, I'm in love. I'm in love. This is everything. Anyway, so, like I said, it then comes with the part that you keep on already. And I believe this one is 500 milliliters. Um, let me take it off and show you. Yeah, I believe this one is 500 milliliters, which I think is, I don't want to say, I don't want to be wrong, but I think it might be 16 ounces. I don't know. I got to do the conversions, but this size, I feel like it's just perfect for um, like single use drinks, like how I use my Ninja for. So this is, y'all can't tell me that this is not pretty. Like this is the prettiest blender ever period and here's the blades and stuff like that and i love that this is so easy to come out and you can just wash the blades without having to like dig your hand all in there all in the blender to wash the blades and you're not really washing it good because it's always at the bottom like no you can easily get everything out of these blades um and make sure it's super clean so i love that and then it also comes with the bigger one so yeah this one is a thousand milliliters and, it looks the exact same it's just a little bit bigger i'm so happy with this like this is when i sit out on my counter like it's too pretty not to yeah this is everything so here's the bigger vessel which you can blend so much stuff in here and it comes with like the cap so that if you do like let's say i blend like a whole green juice and don't feel like putting it in a different container i can just close it and put it in my fridge and be good to go or if i want to blend i just take the the head with the blade and then just blend my stuff and it just looks like this so y'all can't tell me this is not fire if it's still on sale and you are like in the market for a new blender or you need a blender, girl. Well, I can't, I feel like I can't recommend it because I haven't used it and I'm just recommending it off of looks. But I watched a couple of videos and everyone seemed to love it. So yeah, I'm about to put it to the test. Well, it's not really a good test because I don't need to like, I'm not gonna be blending fruit, but I am about to make some more poquito because my mom was like begging me to make some more so i have to get his reaction was it worth it or no you gotta see how it blends is it all right if i take them over quick yeah why are you asking that because you're recording i mean he already up here loud so i had to like jump off of here real quick um was that I'm going to make coquito, I think. I don't know, remember. But my mom, anyway, called me. She texted me and called me yesterday. And she calls it coconut rum punch. My mom just... I think she just can't 
pronounce stuff properly because of her accent like she can't she's not really good with names especially names that are like like not simple names um but it, it it just it's because of her accent so she's been calling it coconut rum punch instead of coquito um but she was like it's so good like can you please make some more so i'm gonna make some more my dad said it was good too um i don't know if he finished his or not but anyway, so I'm going to make something in here. And I was saying that we can't really test out like how well it blends because I'm literally just going to be blending liquids. So in one of these upcoming vlogs, we are going to put this to the test. Um, and we're going to make a green juice in here. Now, you know my other vlog, I made a green juice and it wasn't smooth. I made it in my Ninja. So we're going to see if I could put spinach in here and all those other fruits and see if it comes out smooth. But that'll be in a different vlog. But tonight... We're gonna make coquito in this and I'm gonna wash it obviously and I'm gonna show you guys what I use for my coquito and how I make it. So yeah, that was it. I think that was it. Also, you can also put the cap on the big blender and I mean, you could carry this if you want. I feel like this would be really good if you wanna like increase your water intake and like just try to go through like maybe like two or three of these a day um so you can you can take it on the go so this top is interchangeable between this one and this one this one is 500 milliliters this one is a thousand and then this top goes to both of these as well as like i showed you the first time the water bottle which also this is glass because these sound different they sound like plastic whereas this is definitely glass and it's heavy so i feel like i i really got like a bang for my buck um like i said i can't really recommend them because we're not technically testing out the blending capability but as far as aesthetics i mean this will look pretty on any freaking counter so so for the coquito, you need, um, hold on, let me grab everything real quick. You need coconut milk. I don't make mine with eggs. Um, Isaiah's mom does, and she actually taught me to make it with eggs. But that way it's just so stressful because you got to make sure your eggs don't scramble. And if they do, you're effed. So I just used... I'm close as hell. Coconut milk, evaporated milk, sweet and condensed milk, and then you need cream of cocoa. So I think this brand is Lopez, but I had um, opened this jar by, by the, not jar, I opened the can that it came in by mistake and didn't end up needing to use it. So I just put it in here so that I can save it and I had it in my refrigerator in here for a few days you need nutmeg you need a little bit of vanilla right just a little bit of vanilla you need cinnamon sticks and of course you need cinnamon so i need to um decant this but i don't even think i have any more of these jars i might have to order some more because i have a lot more seasonings but yeah nutmeg cinnamon and cinnamon sticks that's literally all you need so i just finished washing this it's still a little bit wet but that's fine um so let me open up all of these first and then you just put everything into the blender and you just let it mix up and then you put it into whatever bottle you want if you are using rum um which i will be using I think I'm gonna only put fun in my, in my mom's because I don't really I have been drinking. So I don't wanna put rum in all of it, but um, most of the time you use Bacardi. You use regular Bacardi, but since this is a coconut drink, I got Bacardi coconut. Um, and it tastes, I did taste it, it tastes really good with the coquito. Um, when you put it into a container it has to be a glass bottle because of the alcohol like if you're using alcohol 
you have to put it back into a glass container because of the alcohol you can't put it into like a plastic bottle um so yeah if you are blending it like making a batch with rum in it you can go ahead and add the rum to the blender and it'll mix up that way if not you'll just make it without the rum in the blender and then add the rum to whatever um you know bottles you want is my mom calling me i think my mom is calling me yeah she is i have no idea what she's calling me for probably to see if i made the damn coconut rum punch <laughs> Um, anyway, so yeah, you just add all of them to the blender and the order doesn't matter. You just want to make sure you add everything and then you want to make sure you blend it. If you don't have a blender, I'm sure you could just probably mix it with a spoon. Oh my God, is it going to fit in here? How many ounces is a thousand milliliters? Thirty-two? Is it thirty-two ounces? I don't. That's not thirty-two ounces. That can't be. I don't know. Somebody do the conversion for me. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to look it up. Oh shoot. My um, cream of coconut is like solid. Like it's like not. Hold on. Let me see what my mom, mom texts me. Call me and text me. Let me see what this girl talking about. So it's not fitting in here. So I gotta, this was a fail. I gotta use my Vitamix, y'all. Sorry. Um, but that's okay because, woo, that's okay because when I do, it smells so good. When I do use this, um, we're gonna test it out on like actual stuff that needs to get blended. Sorry guys. So I just added, the cream of coconut, which is like the best part, in my opinion. And I'm about to add the sweet and condensed milk. Um, and then, yeah, so this was a freaking fail. Sorry, y'all. I really feel bad. And I really want, I was really excited. Like, I really wanted to see. So, okay. Final thoughts on the blender. I feel like, yes, it's pretty and everything, but... I feel like it, even the biggest bottle, even the biggest vessel is still like small. Like how many ounces is this? 13 ounces, 12 ounces, and these are had already filled it up basically. So yeah, it is kind of small Can in, like, in comparison to like a regular blender. This holds eight cups, 64 ounces, so yeah. Anyway, I'm adding the milk. This is also the best part, like, ugh, so good. And you wanna make sure you get all of this, because you know you know sweet condensed milk is so freaking good. Okay. Then you um do just a little bit of vanilla. I'm making that up. I'm pretty sure I, I'm supposed to add vanilla. A little, not too much, not too much nutmeg. Like that's more than enough. And then I think I need to get more cinnamon out of my uh, pantry. And then as much cinnamon as you want. This is just like, it doesn't really matter. It's whatever you like. And that's it. Cause the cinnamon sticks are for inside the bottle. So. I'm gonna blend this up and then show you guys when I um, pour it into the bottle. And I got my bottle from Ikea. I'll show you guys in a second in case you're interested. They're super cheap from Ikea. Let me show you. This is the bottle that I like to use for it. You want to make sure when you wash the top, the top is cork. You want to make sure you let it dry all the way because it can end up molding. So yeah, when you wash it, just make sure you let it air dry 
before you put it away before you like close it up and put it in here so yeah this is from ikea this was probably like five dollars or so so yeah that's it can you see that from here oh, i'm not even about to move you up um i can't find my mix it i'm gonna just see the paper towel i'm gonna just taste it just to make sure it tastes good what it's supposed to be giving um but yeah it's super simple i like it, it's just so good mm. baby fire make this for your holiday parties y'all I'm trying to tell y'all, it's so freaking good. Like, it's way better than, especially if you love coconut, like, it's way better than eggnog. So, I'm about to just pour it into my bottle. Actually, I like, I'm about to put the, uh, cinnamon sticks inside first. I'm going to use this kombucha bottle for my mom. Um, just put, let me put a little, a little coconut, coconut cinnamon stick in hers because she isn't, it's obviously not a big bottle. And then I'm going to just put the rest. And I have some more coconut. Why do I keep calling it cinnamon coconut? <laughs> I have some more cinnamon sticks in my pantry too. So I'm going to just pour this into my bottle. Oh my god, I'm already making a mess. <gasps> okay. <sighs> One thing about me, I'm gonna make a mess. And then I'm gonna just pour the rest in here so that it's easier for me to pour into the kombucha bottle. And I'm gonna pour it in there for my mom, and I'm gonna put some rum in there too. So it's like it's like about here. So I'm gonna pour some rum in first. And I'm gonna pour the rum into oh, into my Pyrex because I wanna make sure I'm seeing how much I'm pouring in here. I don't wanna pour too much. Yeah, so it's two ounces. Two ounces is a shot. So I'm putting a shot of rum in here for my mom. And that's literally it. And then I'm gonna pour some more just to fill it up. Why do I keep making a mess? All right, but anyway, now that that's full, I'm gonna um, just make sure it's like wiped off. And then you wanna shake it just so you can mix mix the uh, rum with the cotito and and also just to make sure you get the uh, cinnamon stick incorporated in there too. So that's it. This is so good. And you want to chill it for a day or more and then you can start drinking it. Definitely don't drink it right away because you're going to be drinking like room temperature coconut milk. Like ew. I'm going to clean up, put this stuff in the uh, refrigerator. And yeah, I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow for a Vlogmas Day 3. Moving along. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.